figured I'd do one more video for the fuck of it. If I did have a daughter, I'd name her, uh, I like the name Maggie. I named my daughter Maggie, Tiffany, Emily, and Morgan. I think those names are nice. And then maybe Taylor, if I had a fifth daughter. Uh, or Lilith. I like the name Lilith. Caitlin's a nice name too. I'm I'm not choicey. I ain't picky when it comes to picking names for a newborn. <sighs> it's been a long time since I had Jen. It's like I remember when I was in my twenties. <sighs> Man, this stuff is a little too hot. My mouth is still burning. Like, ten minutes before the last time I ate one. Six, seven minutes ago, my mouth is still burning. Lay off these. I ain't no wimp, but those are spicy. But, I remember when I was in my 20s, I used to drink bottom shelf gin straight. I didn't even mix it with nothing. I used to live with my dad. I used to be a beast. Man, I used to drink way more when I was younger. I don't. Drinking just helps me be a little more confident. Takes the edge off and heightens my alertness, my awareness, and mellows my nerves, mellows me out a little bit. Makes my food taste better. Makes TV shows more fun to watch. I'm going to talk about Eagles. Eagles NFC. Look, man. I ain't in no, I ain't no way, shape, or form to get into a fight. I didn't really. I was drunk one night. He, eh, long story short, he called me. He said I'm disabled. I have a disability. So I was like, let's fight. I, was, I got kind of mad. I was drunk and I was mad. I was like, okay, well then let's fight. You're gonna earn. You're gonna earn my respect. You're gonna gain my respect after having a fight with me. Because sometimes that's what it takes for people to respect you is to, you know, fight them. I mean, a physical fight. I mean, go toe to toe, fist to fist, knuckle to knuckle. Sometimes that's what it takes for people to respect you, win or lose. But look, bro, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to look for trouble or problems. You know, I'm. Look, I'm in. I. I can't fight. I'm. I'm not healthy. I mean, I got a bad liver. I got. High blood pressure, uh, my muscle, I got muscle aches and cramps. I ain't no 24 year old no more. I'm not. I ain't gonna sit here and say that I, uh, you know, I'm gonna, you know, be defenseless. I mean, I stand my ground, but uh, trust me, I ain't the one to mess with, but that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I'm not saying that as a challenge or threat to you. I'm just telling you straight up, bro. If you just. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want anyone to fuck with me, mess with me, because it wouldn't, the outcome wouldn't be too pretty. Win or lose. <laughs> not, as, uh, not as easy as... Uh, you know, opponent, you know, it wouldn't be too easy of an opponent here. Uh, but anyways, uh, but then again, I, I feel like, physically, I feel like I couldn't, fight my, I couldn't fight myself out of a wet paper bag. I'm, I'm weak, man. I can't bench press what I used to bench press. I can't do 20, pu 20 push-ups right now. It would be hard for me to do. I, I'm not that strong. I mean, I used to be pretty strong. But I still know how to, you know, handle myself if I had to. That's pretty much all I'm going to say, and I'm just going to drop the subject. Oh, my neck is stiff. Yeah, I'm a hot mess. But it's my fault. I let myself go. I can't wait till Seagram's I've gone this far. I can't wait till uh, Friday. I'm going to get myself 
pepperoni pizza from Angie's. Really good place. Uh, feeling a little buzz. Fuck. Well, oh, damn. I'm sick of life. I'm sick of sick of just working and not having no happiness and fun in my life. The last time I had, the only t two times I've been happy is when I went skiing when I was 14 years old. And when I, the first time I went to Kings Island Amusement Park, I was like 9 or 10 or 11. I'll never forget that. My dad came in my room and he said, I was a kid, I was like 9 or, I was like 9 or 10. He came, my dad came in my room, he's like, Guess what? It whispered at me. And I was. I didn't drink. I ah, shit. I didn't drink till I was 22, when I started drinking. But I was sober as a as a. I was sober as a pin. But uh, uh, he came in my room and he said, "Guess what? We're going to Kings Island." I was so happy, man. Fireworks stores make me kind of happy too. But even though you can't shoot them, but oh well. Whatever. Whatever. It to the shit. And whatever the chatter. <sighs> Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Uh, I said that to say this. I've never really been happy. It's been a fucking over 27 years since I've really been happy. <coughs> Life sucks for me. What can I say? Oh well. Later. Thanks for watching. <sighs> One last thing I want to say. You know, I went to the store. I went to the grocery store. Piss on. I hate this place, man. They. <coughs> Go in there with the intention of buying a few things. <laughs> like hell yeah just like I knew it a black girl in her 20's whatever she was beautiful sexy and hot attractive cute and tease <laughs> I glanced I was like god I have figures I'm, she's there I'm like damn it go to the one aisle ugly black girls uh, cashier I'm like I said to her, uh, are you going to be open for a while? Because her light, her light was out. <coughs> she looked at me. She's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I, need, I need to go somewhere. I, I'm, 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 you know, Maybe for a minute or more I'll be here. I was like, fuck. So I turn around. I was going to check out. Next thing I know, I'm picking my food out. She passes me. She leaves the cash register. So the only one, the only one left is the attractive, pretty, sexy black girl. So I'm like, fuck. So you know what I did? I walked out of the store. I didn't even buy nothing in the store. Fuck that place. I'm not going back there. I'm not going to let a pretty girl check me out because I'm going to get depressed and I'm going to feel like asking her out. And even if I do ask her out, she's probably going to reject me and shoot. I'm going to get shot down. So what's the use? What's the point? Why try? Either damned if you do, damned if you don't. I can't win for losing. Why try? Oh, fucking well keep thinking about girl problems. I have the worst girl problems I have. Man, the longest I was with a black girl was like two months, and that was 14 fucking years ago, and counting. My life is fucked. And the most we did was just, I fucked her with a condom. That was it. We didn't even, I didn't even, I never even raw dogged. I don't, I never even sp sprayed in a girl's face. The girls never swallowed my shit. The girl, I've never ate a girl out, I've never even ate pussy in my life, never even French kissed, my life, I never had a head or a BJ, my life is fucking bullshit, and I'm fucking 40 years old and never even did it without a con condom every time, look guys, I had sex about 18 times, my or 17 or 18 times, less than 20 times I've had intercourse, and I'm going to be soon 41 years old, that's fucking pathetic and sad, I've only had been with like four different black girls in my life, it's fucking bullshit.